who likes to always write articles and go to Twitter and go to LinkedIn and make a, a post and, and, and publish content and create content. Now, you know, and that's what the people actually like. They like video clips. Hey there, and welcome to a brand new episode of Delivering Marketing Joy. I am your host, Kirby Hossman, and joining me today is a brand new rock star. I'm super excited to dive into this expert in podcasting. He's the CEO of Guest Experts On Air, Joseph Shinwald. Thanks so much for joining me. It's a pleasure to be here, Kirby. Okay, cool. All right, well, let, let's dive in then. Um, so you have made it a science on getting booked on podcasts. I think that obviously as a podcaster, that's very interesting to me. So what are some secrets to becoming a guest? First of all, like the public speaking is just the same like if you would be on television. It's, uh, you have to overcome it and you do it by doing it. Mm. After a while, it's fun. And all <laughs> this nervousness and anxiety just turns into joy and happiness. You like it. And then you get the actual recording. And then you can, nowadays, you know, with AI, you can format it really well and put it up on social media. It is a great marketing thing and it's actually fun so how do you get on podcasts i do the elite podcasts because i you know i like to work with elite professionals but i i take professionals once they have written a book or once they, they have a uniqueness they, they bring um, a unique value to the table of discussion so my methodology everybody can use it it's a shortcut but so many people don't use it <laughs> it's amazing <laughs> professional people don't use it so it's basically, I, I work very hard on my, on my the positioning. I, I, I preach, I do what I preach, I do it for myself, but I have also lots and lots of clients. So I get their positioning right. And the positioning, of course, there are many books written about it, but it's basically how you present somebody to a podcast host or the audience so he comes out like a real strawberry in front of the face of that host. So he says, I take him, I want him, here's my booking link, please book yourself in. That's what you want. You don't want anything like plain money line. You have to find this. You have where the podcast host in your category, in your marketing campaign, will want you because you have such a unique um, value proposition in talking, in your framework, in your deep expertise. So what is the, the secret sauce? In fact, I have a book, a free book, so if you want me to link it at the very end of the show. Yes. You can download it. It's only 30 pages. It's very well written and very well to the point, very practical. So where, what I explain in there also is what I tell you right now. You are doing this positioning. That's called the email template, the email pitch template, because it's a pitch. And ultimately, once you know yourself really, really, really well, your expertise, then you can ask ChatGDP, or yourself, or Google, doesn't matter, we can go to the library, but ChatGDP is very good. You ask, tell me some 30 experts like me. Mm -hmm. I ask mm -hmm. it also for my, for my clients, of course. And then yeah. when you have those experts, and you can also ask other questions, but you know, ChatGDP, you can ask, you know, what kind of podcast category, categories would that be great on? Right? Mm -hmm. So you can educate yourself really fast with that research, and from it, it took much longer, and trial and error, and <clears throat> then you have already 20 or 30 experts like you and then you can go into listen notes listen notes you know it of course Kirby. it's the podcast search engine and it's just listennotes.com mm. and there when you pay a premium maybe just for a few days ten dollars i use it all the time for my agency you get also the email of the podcast of course mm. but then you just need a spreadsheet and you have to organize yourself a little bit. But what happens is you have that those experts, you take one, plug it in, quotation mark, and you see right away on which podcast he's put on. Now, why is that such a good idea? Well, you can now find the, the good podcast. I only look for 1%, 0.5%. The real good ones where you have like 5,000 uh, uh, listeners, sometimes 2%. If it's really niche, like really excellent fit, I even go 10% because... Why not have a few hundred people if they're yeah. completely interested in you? But ultimately, you want to go on a podcast tour, so you do it every month of you. 
Yeah. That's my secret sauce, so to speak. I love it. I like to uh, organize it that way. So I have an abundance, even though there are 5 million podcasts out there, not all of those podcasts are interview based, only mm -hmm. 400,000. And from those 400,000, compare this to YouTube. That's, that's, see, that's little, right? <laughs> and from that, from this 400,000, you get only like 40,000, 40,000 only, which are active. Mm -hmm. And from there, you get a lot of influencer podcasts where the people don't want you. Or you get podcasts where the people are your direct competitors and they don't want you. Right. So, you know, you can have hundreds. I know a person, he had 900. <laughs> that was the, I think he's in the book of records. But I think it's, it's a great marketing tool and you can start with one or two a month. That's that's really interesting. And for what it's worth, I mean, you reached out to me and, and you you had watched a couple of mine. And so you did a great job getting my attention as well. And so that's cool. All right. So let's, once they've they've got your secret sauce and they know how you do it, but once you've been booked as a guest, how do you how can you stand out? Um, well, you really always have to ask you. Like, it's almost like a, a cocktail party. So that's how you have to talk. Right? Yeah. So you are invited to a cocktail party, everybody. And then you hold your, your drink in the left-hand side. So that was, your handshakes will be very cold, of course. But you are contributing to a discussion. And if mm -hmm. it's like about marketing, then I can contribute this podcast guesting, of course. Mm -hmm. And this podcasting, if they talk about a brand. So you have these discussions. And you want to you wanna stand out there because you actually fit in there. Podcast guesting fits with marketing, digital marketing, excellent. Right? They talk many times about SEO. They talk about branding, they talk about digital marketing, they talk about inbound marketing, so many topics, right? But you, yeah. now I, I can talk about podcast guesting. So that's how you stand up. Basically. But if you're a lot of, let's say, if I go and I can do it to, to podcasting, podcast guesting, then I talk about elite podcast guesting, because not everybody's doing it. We have mm -hmm. you, I don't know many. This is hard work. It's tough. You get a client, he says, look, I am, I'm this expert in introvertedness, and I'm really an expert in sales. But I found out that uh, the best clients I get from property management, can you put me on those podcasts? Yeah, that's a challenge, but you can do it. Yeah. So that's basically, you know, there are the nuances here. Yeah, I like that. Again, I, I think it's so funny because most of us want to be generalists, but the, the you know understanding a niche really well is is powerful. So, I, you know, you mentioned it. I mean, the goal of being on a podcast is obviously to provide value and get noticed. Um, but how can you use social media to help you and both the, the, the podcast host? Yeah, you know, first of all, the podcast the podcasting, as you know, Kubrick is doing its own work. So you upload it, you upload yep. it. Uh, either you work with some or whatever side. Mm -hmm. And now it goes out. Usually that's quite automatic. That I was saying. Yeah. Going all those 15 podcast platforms. And there, there are the people who subscribe over a period of time. The more you have, the better. Mm -hmm. If you have the best content in the world, but you only have once a month, that's not good enough. You should have twice a week or at least every week one. That's an active podcast. And then that might not be enough for you. You say, okay, I get clients because even two years ago, I made this incredible podcast. It had, a, had a, it was a, number one global rank at a lot of listeners and I still have friction from it. I still get like uh, people in the marketing funnel on my ecosystem of profitability on my website. That never, that doesn't go away. But mm. if you want to be more proactive and say, okay, the marketing, the podcasting funnels, the podcasting platforms, they do their own work. That's cool. Like Apple Podcasts and all. I want to do something myself also. So you get, nowadays, it's so easy. In you have to outreach to the host. But somebody, like a host, puts, his, puts the, the interview on the YouTube channel, you know, you usually can't grab that link already. You mm -hmm. can also ask permission, but you don't have to anymore because people just, when you put it on YouTube, it's, it's free. So yeah. then even it was your interview also. So you grab that link, you put it in a software like Video, uh, Talk AI, just Google software to make 20 clips from one interview, right? Mm -hmm. So it makes 20 clips. It finds the, the highlights, the, the AI, and then you have it also formatted for the different platforms. Like your Instagram is different than Twitter, mm -hmm. LinkedIn, Facebook, it's all a little bit different. So you get the help there with the uh, AI. It's very easy to learn. You can learn it in a few hours. These programs are easy. In formulas, you need to pay somebody a thousand dollars a month, some freelancer. And now you can do it yourself or you can have your secretary do it. But I just say that this now helps you after I had uh, you have an interview. That is a beautiful thing. Now, 20 clips. And because, I mean, you know, who likes to always write articles 
and go to Twitter and go to LinkedIn and make a, a post and, and, and publish content and create content. Now, you know, and that's what the people actually like. They like video clips. <laughs> so you yeah. get them out. Joseph speaks, Joseph Himmel speaks all the time. He must be the go-to expert and right. the authority on podcast guesting and booking because that's, I hear more than talk about this. And if I don't listen even to this 30 seconds on social media, he must be famous because he's always out there. He gets always invited. And so there is this beautiful extra benefit between the myth and the reality. The reality is that you actually pitched yourself or a nation did it for you. The myth is people believe, I think it comes from television and radio or even interviewed by a newspaper, that people look for you because you're already such a go-to expert and you're already on the topic. They look for you and now you're all the time invited on photos. I haven't, I, it, it's the, this is the usual perception and this is the thing which helps you this marketing, of course. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That makes a ton of sense. I love that idea of repurposing the content and, and making lots of clips out of one big long one. That's, that's great advice. All right. Final question for you. I mean, you, when it comes to, when it comes to podcasting, can you get out your crystal ball? I mean, what do you see as sort of the future of podcasting? Well, podcasting, one thing we have to understand that uh, with AI now, you will, but first of all, the stats, and then I talk about AI, the stats are, 30% every year compounding, compound growth rate. We will be, we, 2030, we will be $130 billion industry. That's for you, for podcasting, that's huge. Yeah. And, and we have five, as of 2024, we already have five million listeners. Hmm. So also it's going very much into ent edutainment. Mm -hmm. So it's always, because younger people are listening. It's education and entertainment, both together. So yeah. When you talk, it's all video. So before COVID, there were 10% video uh, podcasts. And now there are 70% video. Of wow. Them. So things change quite a lot. Now, what I wanted to say about AI, podcasting, I know about podcasting because I have lots of friends in that, in that arena who have done several years and before I was many times on television. So I, I would say that it will be fantastic for some companies to say, Okay, I up the, I up, there's the spokesperson who, was, who has the, the podcast, and I up the owner maybe. I upload my video. You know, you just have this. You have this handy. Somebody has a handy, and then you you give him two minutes. Wonderful compliments. <laughs> <laughs> then you upload this video with your voice, with your face, and then any script you tell that software, like it's uh, Eleven Labs or Agene. You tell them that, that, or you tell them that transcript from that German uh, or English podcast, and now I say, I'm talking now to, to a Latin American audience, make it, and it will. Mm. And all you need to do is to be honest, of course, this is Joseph Schimmel, your podcast, and name with Colab, Colab AI, and then you find. And you know, mm. there are spirituality podcasts that can be in the last corner in Africa somewhere, that mm. can, uh, uh, I was a professor in, in Latin America only because really, in the same university, because I was I was reading a lot and I knew how to do it. And I'm from Moscow, so by the way, I but it doesn't matter. But I was knowing the newest things in Spanish at the university. So now when you have this, you know, broadcast about these newest topics and they are now in different languages, that would change broadcasting mm. immensely. Yeah. No, that's, that's a super good point. It, anytime you talk about AI, it's really easy to kind of go, you know, it kind of blows your mind a little bit for sure. So well, real quick, before I let you go, you had mentioned that you had written a book about how to, about podcast guesting. Yes. Where, where can folks find that? Yeah. If they, they get the book completely free and they will mm -hmm. enjoy it and they can actually, it's very practical. If you do it three hours a month, you will get on a high end podcast. Mm -hmm. If you do it, it's not a big deal. You will see it's, it's quite, it's not, it's simple. It's not easy to do with a little bit of practice, but yeah. you can also go to a podcast agency like mine. And the website and the link where you get it from is called guestexpertsonair.com. Guestexpertsonair.com. That's also my business and my website. Forward slash podcast promo. Did I say it right? I think so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's well, great. My, my, my English, well, my, my, my accent, I was studying in the States. I have, yeah. I have good English, but my accent is, sounds a little bit like I'm a from Australia. 
Uh, that's awesome. Well, Joseph, thank you so much for taking the time. I really appreciate it. This has been a this is an interesting topic, and I think that um, you know, obviously, I host a podcast, but um, it, there is sometimes it feels like a mystery to to become a guest on another podcast. So I appreciate the insight today. This is awesome. Yes, so, you know, you can, but you can you can have your own and create your own audience over a period of time. It's very interesting for brands, but you can also leverage other people in your business and yeah. the audiences. Absolutely. Well, Joseph, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And uh, we'll have to do it again at some time, okay? Thank you for inviting me. It was a pleasure. Cool. All right. Well, that's going to wrap up this edition of Delivering Marketing Joy. We'll see you next time. Delivering Marketing Joy.